Peter Dutton can claw back support, and that is to channel the popular governor of Florida, Ron DeSantis. For anyone who doesn't know DeSantis, he just scraped through to get elected. But now, because of his libertarian approach to governing and shaking off the bureaucrats, his ratings are through the roof. He could be governor of Florida for as long as he likes. As James Allen alludes, DeSantis is politically brave, which is something Peter Dutton must become. Policies like nuclear energy, go for it. Use this energy crisis to begin the discussion and wedge Labor. Explain to Australians why we need this now. James Allen says that Dutton and his team mustn't take their cues from focus groups where you, quote, see what the current view is and then cater to it by parking yourself an inch to the right of the lefties, unquote. Instead, he argues, be like Ron DeSantis and stand up for your core principles and convince voters. Professor Allen highlights another trait which Peter Dutton should immediately adopt, and I might add, did as Defence Minister, reject outright any wokery or virtue signalling. Now, viewers might remember that DeSantis was infuriated with the Disney company's woke virtue signalling criticism of a DeSantis Florida law that rightly removed all sex education from the classroom for kids from kindergarten to year three. Disney, of course, used to getting their own way. But in criticising the DeSantis legislation, they pulled the wrong rein. DeSantis pushed through a law that took away Disney World's special legislative privileges in the state of Florida. The result, a tens of millions of dollars per year loss for Disney. Great stuff. As a result, the DeSantis popularity climbed even further. And that's how it's done. The Liberal Party must channel their libertarian and conservative instincts and reject outright the rubbish that, inf in, was in, that inflicted upon them a massive defeat on May 21. Now, there are serious problems at hand, and we talked about them. Energy, aged care, the cost of living, petrol, grocery prices, inflation, housing shortages. The public can do, therefore, without the wokery that Labor have displayed. And the public have sensed that already.